A French startup has now found a way to use microorganisms to break down plastic waste so that it can be rebuilt into new plastic products. Martin Stefan is the CEO, deputy CEO of the company behind this process, and he is joining us this morning. Good to speak with you. Thank you. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Can you explain for us how does this work? How is it different from traditional recycling? Yes, sure. So we are the first and only company to use a biological process for the end of life of plastics. Uh, and we do that by uh, uh, using an enzyme, which is a biological catalyst to break down the long chain of molecule, which is plastic, into its basic components, which are called monomers. So we, we deconstruct the plastic into their basic components, and then we reconstruct them again to make virgin plastic again, same quality as initially manufactured by a plastic manufacturer. So unlike what happens now where it's broken down and then made into a lesser quality, this would be of, a, of an equal quality, which is fascinating. I'm thinking about the environmental implications. How valuable is this prospect? Well, we contribute to reducing the plastics pollution by giving value to waste which today have no or low value because we enable uh, a thing which is, um, uh, let's say, a buzzword today, a circular economy. But we make it possible by using waste as a raw material instead of petrochemicals. So we really contribute to eliminate plastics pollution in the world, including the 9 million tons of plastics which are disposed in the ocean every year, which is not acceptable. You have several major commercial partners in this venture, and you'll soon be building your first demonstration plant that will be in France. When is your goal for this process to be up and running commercially? Yes, uh, as we speak, uh, today is the first day of the construction of the demo plant you just mentioned. Uh, so this plant will be uh, built in Lyon, south of Lyon in France. And our goal is to be able to license the technology to a plastic producer end of 2024, beginning of 2025, to make possible or to, to help our commercial partners, including L'Oréal, PepsiCo, Suntory, Nestle Waters, to reach their sustainability development goals by 2025. It is a fascinating project. Thank you for coming on your morning to explain it to us, Martin Stefan. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.